you from now that uh, you know with you and Nico um you know about to start a, a new to a new chapter together diba um paano mo alam na si Nico ang the one It's super annoying to say this because every time someone told me this before I got like I was like can you please just when you know you know yun talaga <laughs> yun talaga yan yun talaga yan I mean of course the first time you fall in love it's you the first think time it's the one. yeah because it's the first time you feel these kind of emotions for someone else so so you don't understand it and you really feel like shana yun but then you're you're just young and you go through different for me there's a different kind of love at every stage of your life and you can't love Uh, you don't have the same love for someone twice in a mm-hmm. lifetime. So the love I have for Nico now is different from the love I had with my first or second boyfriend. I'm not saying it's better or not. I'm just saying different. it's different. And at this point, like of course, with nowadays there's so much divorces and there's so much things like that, uh, annulment, husbands cheating, wives cheating, maybe a little bit less. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, no. Nowadays oh. the, mo- the girls are modern. Yeah, exactly. Both um, are both are subjected to the same yeah. uh, levels of I, I feel like it's important for you to find the person that you're okay to fall in love with every 10 years. Feeling ko yan kasi people change. Like in in five, ten years from now, I'll not be the same Salen. I won't have the same views. Uh, so I feel like you need to settle with someone that you know Whatever happens, you if you try hard, you can fall in love again with that person. Oh. For me, it's that you will never fall out of love with that person, you know, I'm not saying you won't fall out of love. You always love that person. Being in love is different, and for that, you really have to work on every. You really have to just redo it, rekindle, reinvent. Uh, and you, because you guys have been living together for four years, of course, it's a, a relationship is a series of rekindling, redoing, yeah. relearning. Mm-hmm. What have you learned in the recent, uh, in the recent year? Actually, I feel like it's still we're still in our very honeymoon stage. Yes. Uh, since we lived together, I got to see all the things like, medyo messy siya, ganon. Oh. Had, and ako, I'm super like OC oh. like to that. So medyo maingay siya, ikaw tahimik. Ako tahimik. Oh, diba? Yeah, parang parang kid siya, like oh, always oh, hyper oh. and jumping around. So, uh, but that makes me laugh, and I'm just happy. Of course, if you can make a woman laugh, you can make her do anything. So, kung naglilinis ng sapatos, you know, ako okay lang sa akin. Oh, <laughs> Basta because you're so ano OC anal about uh, I'm so anal. Cleanliness. I'm so yeah. I like oh. things to be tidy, and he's just like he doesn't care. He's just, like blah, throwing his stuff everywhere. So it's just finding someone that you match with, and you just have to work on on um, fixing what's different between the two of you guys. But it's fun. It's nothing heavy yet. Yeah, right? exactly. But you guys have so much harmony, you know. It's yeah. so much fun to watch you guys because I always, you know, when we're together, I'm always just watching you guys. We're like a show, no? Yeah, <laughs> cute. Super cute. Oh, 